Hey everybody, good morning. My name is Michael Bigler. Today is the most important day of our lives, November 3rd, 2020. The day we vote for the greatest president on our planet. With that said, I wanna take you back to my last class, which was Sunday. If you all missed it, just go to my YouTube channel, subscribe while you're there, so we can spread the word of God being in our country once and for all. So this is a chart. It goes back in Greek, Hebrew, and Latin, but it's in our language so we can understand it. Get a good look at it. Okay. With that said, I'm gonna take you back a little bit just like they do in class and on, you know, the movies. They always show you clips from the past so you can understand a little bit about where we're going today. So, the number six in the Bible is often associated with a man, just as the number seven, which is the perfect number. The number three correlates to the Trinity. Now, the Trinity is a triangle, which is the most strongest fastening system in the world or building. Just like the three pyramids that are still there, uh, when you take a two by four, you put a nail here and a nail here and a nail there, that way it don't split the wood, okay? So with that said, just a little bit of class uh, teaching, let's go to this. On that chart, when you add six or seven, six and four, it comes up to the word God. Now, that equals 17. Now, the, the number 17 correlates to seven, which is perfect, and one, which is there's only one God. Now, let's take the word father, which is six, one, two, eight, five, nine, comes up to be 19, okay? Again, uh, we go with the number three here, which is the Trinity, which is a three up above the triangle, and the other corner, a three, and the other corner, another three, which equals nine, okay? That is the Trinity, which is one nine, which is meaning there's only one father. So now let's go to this guy who's been ruling on our planet since you and I have been born until now. So, his name comes up to be 11215, which equals 10, okay? Now, you see the zero? That's exactly what it means, zero. But there is only one Satan. Now, 10 plus 10 equals 20, because you gotta add to, to, to be greater than God, which he could never do. That's why he's a fallen angel. So. 20 and 10 and 10 equal 20. So through his lies, he's trying to take God out of our country once and for all during 2020. But that's not gonna happen, people. I guarantee it's not gonna happen because our Lord sent Donald Trump to save us. Okay, now here's how it works. John equals 20. One, six, five, eight, according to the chart equals 20. 20 is greater than 10. And God is greater than Satan. We are, we were created in the image of God. And Satan is an angel that fell away from God. So with that said, so the mark of the beast is 10. And 20 is the mark of the apostle John who wrote Revelations. You got that, people? That, that number 20, okay, is greater than 10. God is greater than Satan, period. And the minute he thought he could be greater than God, what happened? Boom. The two, the positive and the negative post touched just like a battery in your car, and he was sent to the earth to rule until now. So anyways, let's go with this over here, okay? This is what the Lord spoke to me today. Take the Pentagon. 
has five sides, five corners, okay? Pentagon. Octagon. Octagon has eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now check this out. This is what our father told me today to teach you. The Pentagon has five sides, which is found on a soccer ball, which means we have been kicked around long enough by this guy, Satan. So now here's the octagon. This is what he told me today, how, why this octagon is so important. The octagon has eight sides, which is found on a stop sign. Meaning, stop and listen to God. Or an umbrella, which means God will protect us from the evil one. Now check this out, people. It's also, the octagon is also the UFC ring. Okay? The ultimate fighting championship ring. Which means we will we, the people, will fight for our God forever and ever. Amen. So, now let's get to some really deep stuff. Right here. This is how I came up with the octagon. You see these stars? They got one, two, three, four, five points, just like the Pentagon. My suggestion, which is my father's suggestion, what he told me, is we need to add two more points to this star because of the second coming of Christ. Now, y'all might not see this, but, you know, in the Bible, it says that no man knows the hour or the day. It's all through the Bible. No man knows the hour or the day. But guess what, people? They never said the month or the year. They never said the month or the year when Christ would return. Now, if there was any man, and I'm not saying that... Uh, Donald Trump is Christ or Jesus, he's Donald Trump. But he's also created in the image of God. So with that said, I've never seen a man persecuted the way he has been. Okay? You got all this now. Okay? So this is powerful stuff, people. This is our new star. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Right here. 777, which equals 21. Okay? Which is 2021. 20, now you go with this. A man, a woman, and a child. And then you go, because God used Donald Trump and Melania, Donald John Trump. Melania Trump. Our new star is right there, people. Okay, it's beautiful, isn't it? Not only is it the star of David, okay, not only is the star of David in our star form, but guess what? The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, man, woman, create a child, which create creation, Donald John Trump and Melania stood up for you and I to fill the gaps of our new star. Because here's what they did, people. They stood up against the evil man, Satan, for you and I. And that is honor. That is honor just like this flag honors a lot of people, people. Now, that's how you come up with this. And the year 2021 is the year God finally rules in our country 
21, the second coming of Christ. You got two and you got one. Now, Jesus, if you pull it up on the chart, comes up to 11, one. 11, 11, meaning one, one. So the second coming would be two, one. It would be the second coming, you get it? Okay, so with that said, here's a powerful thing right here. You know how we're created in the image of God, people? One, seven. You know what age Donald Trump took office? 71 years old. Now, he also makes a statement. Obama and Biden did it one way. He's going to reverse it and do it the other way. So now, instead of man being here, okay, and the perfect number being here, now God is on top and man is over here. That's what he's showing me with that number. Okay? So, anyways, I kind of like it because you got to love it when God is finally going to rule our planet and we're finally going to be happy, joyful, getting along with each other and experiencing true love true love people amongst each other, brother and sister. It don't matter what color our skin is. We all bleed red. Every one of us. Every one of us bleed red. And you know what? Every race in the world fought for this flag. Fought for it. So why are we fighting each other? Not anymore. We're finally going to stomp this guy and crush his head under our feet because we're based on a country that ain't based on money, but on hard work, hard work. And these people that have been ruling our country, they're based on money, the love of money. Money ain't evil. It's the love of money. Because what you do is you put that selfish desire above God and you work them into the grave. Us. Now, with that said, I have to go vote. And I have to take my precious niece. And I look forward to it. Ashley Bagler. And... I just want to leave this with y'all because tomorrow we got a killer song that I wrote yet finished up yesterday. And it's called Raise Your Hands. And we're going to start raising our hands to the Lord above. To the Lord above, people. The God of love. Isn't that what we're taught? God is love. So y'all have a beautiful day and know that he loves you. And so do I. Take care now.